Namaskaram this is Mo and I am so happy to see you all. Today I have some lip balms and I would like to start with two lip balms from Juicy Chemistry. One is their Tuscany Lemon and Green Tea and another one is the Blood Orange and Rose Hip Lip Balm. Among these two, Tuscany Lemon and Green Tea is not my favorite because it gives me that minty tingling sensation. It is completely my personal preference. I don't like any product that tingles. But from texture wise, it is no different from Blood Orange and Lip Balm which is one of their best seller. And I purchased this lip balm over and over. It is supposed to help in reducing the pigmentation on your lips which I believe it does only if I use it as a lip slipping mask and not just a lip balm. I apply a thick generous layer on my lips while sleeping. If I use it just like a normal lip balm, it doesn't help in reducing any pigmentation. In fact, when I first purchased it, I also didn't find it very good. But then gradually I started liking it and purchased it again and again just because how it works. Although I find some people doesn't find it hydrating and moisturizing, but to me, it is one of my best performing lip balms. Next two lip balms are from the body shop. One is their Born Lippy and another one is their Lip Butter. I was in college when first body shop launched in Kolkata and at that time a lip balm from the body shop inside your vanity was a piece of luxury and I believe it is still a piece of luxury for so many teenagers. I always buy their Born Lippy and I always go for the strawberry or the raspberry flavor. And the basic difference between the Born Lippy and the Lip Butter is Born Lippy is a very hydrating and the Lip Butter one is more nourishing. The next product is this beautiful looking lip butter mask from Alana and it has coconut oil, olive squalene, plant-based petroleum jelly and glycerin. It has a light pink tint but on my lips that tint doesn't work. To me it is a normal lip balm not a, a lip slipping mask because I always prefer my lip masks to be very balmy, moisturizing and little sticky. Uh, it is a very hydrating and moisturizing lip balm. One thing that I need to mention especially for this lip balm that it goes nicely underneath the lipstick. I feel that whenever I apply this lip balm my lipstick looks very beautiful. It keeps my matte lipsticks matte yet keeps my lips very hydrated and moisturized underneath it. We are on our next product and it is the Pink Me Again Lip Slipping Mask from Ikai. It is a sister brand of Lotus Herbal. I have never seen a lip product that comes in such a big quantity. I heard that it is a dupe of Laneige Lip Slipping Mask which is very famous and very expensive. I find not everyone is going to love this texture because it is not hydrating. I mean the product does not have any quality to hydrate your lips but it is very good if you want to lock your hydration or moisturization. It is very sticky. The only drawback is the smell. It is so synthetic. When you apply this lip balm you feel that you are having a tasteless bubble gum inside your mouth. The next product is the lip butter from Earth Rhythm. To me it is not a lip butter because the consistency is very liquidy. It is very lightweight, liquidy and high shine lip balm. I mean you can seriously substitute your lip gloss with this lip balm. It is very thin and I am not a very fond of that type of uh, texture. I am not a fan of this packaging because I find I cannot scoop out the entire product from a tube. Although it looks very handy and travel friendly. The next product is a raw shea balm from Palmas and it is a beautiful product. I have never seen a balm can be so moisturizing and so hydrating absorbs so well. It is a paraben free, sulfate free, dye free, gluten free and mineral oil free formula. It has those beautiful nourishing ingredients like shea butter, cocoa butter, soybean oil, canola oil and vitamin E. It is a recent purchase but ever since I 
get my hands on this product i'm using it like everywhere i use it wherever i have some dry patches on my lip on my heels knees elbows knuckle it is very buttery i mean ye mujhe tarah ghee ke jaise lagta hai it has a healing property if you have dry skin you can seriously use it on your face i saw some people using it as their sleeping mask I have Popo ointment from brand Sukin. It is a sulfate-free and paraben-free formula. It does not contain any synthetic fragrance, any animal derivatives. It is artificial color-free, mineral oil-free and paraben-free formula. It has castor seed oil, papaya extract or fermented pawpaw. This product is same like Ikai product. Very good if lock your hydration or moisturization but does not deliver any added hydration to your lips. It's not only useful as a lip sleeping mask but it is very helpful for the people who love to put castor oil on their eyebrows and eyelashes. The first two major ingredients of this product are castor seed oil and hydrogenated castor oil. It is a very basic lip balm yet so effective. I find it moisturizing, hydrating. I mean it does the job what it is supposed to do. It has castor oil, corn oil, petroleum and sun protection factor. It is fragrance free and that's why I use it as my ISPF. I use it around my nose. I mean I see it heals that cracked areas around my nose. The chapstick is so handy. I carry it everywhere, even when I go out for my morning run. I want to finish this video with a product very close to my heart, and it is nothing but Borolin. Nostalgia of every Bengali. To me, it is not a product; it is a feeling. Every Bengali mom uh, visit the chamber of Borolin before visiting any doctor's chamber for their normal cuts and wounds. And as a lip product. If you want a one night remedy then nothing can beat borolin. It is not only healing but has an exfoliating property. Since it has boric acid, I use it as a lip sleeping mask. Put a very thick layer just like the way cricketers use zinc oxide on their lips and it exfoliates all the dead skins on my lips and next morning I wake up with soft fresh lips. That's all with my today's video. I hope you like it. If yes, then give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell that you can see beside the subscribe option.